there I was in the Helsinki bar up in Butte, Montana, been doing uh, an organizing drive for the Industrial Workers of the World with uh, Bob Markholt, a great wobbly and a meat cutter from Seattle. The woman who uh, owned the the Helsinki bar was the last of Fintown. Everything else, all the rest of Fintown had already been mined out. Uh, why? Because the Finns were socialists when they got here, and of course that was the the immigrant community that was under the most uh, vicious attack uh, in the early days. Well, the woman who owned the place, as they say, uh, closed it for about 10 minutes and drove away and came back with a very, very, very old woman by the name of Gilda Hockenen. And uh, she said, now, you boys are wobblies, and this woman knows a story that you ought to know. Now, but don't provoke her. She will talk to you in her own good time. Well, she sat down, began to knock back that, that harsh Finlandia vodka along with us, and finally she said, well, you know, you wobblies, the, the head of your union, the, the, the guy who started it was Big Bill Haywood, and he used to live here, uh, right here in Butte, Montana. Oh, yeah, she said, he was married to a, a little woman by the name of Nevada Jane. Uh, she would was crippled. She'd fallen from her horse and couldn't walk, but, well, he would carry her down to the train station every morning from the little cabin they lived in, and and set her there, and she would organize the women of the town while he was in town dehorning. I said, Mrs. Hockenden, what is that dehorning? Well, that was uh, where well, you wanted the miners to come out of the mines and go to a meeting, but instead they head for the bars. So while they were working underground, you go to all the bars in town with axe handles and make sure they were closed. Said Bill Haywood would come back to the train station well bloodied, he got beat up a lot, and a pick Nevada Jane up in his arms, hang a kid off of each shoulder. There was the two of them, and he could be seen in the failing light walking back up to that cabin. Well, I wrote that story down in my notebook, and one of the tr trips I was making with Kate Wolf, she was, as usual, going through my notebook, and she said, well, now this is a story that's different from those heavily masculine, hard-edged songs you sing about the labor movement, this is a little softer. Why don't you make a song about that? And, uh, yes, I did. Ah, the linens turned down in folds of glowing white Are you lying there alone again tonight? He's marching again the cold November rain You know he'll come back home Nevada Jane And when he stumbles in With blood upon his shirt Washing up alone Just to hide the hurt He'll lie down by your side And wake you with your name You'll hold him in your arms Nevada Jane have you seen the way he holds her as though she was a bride? Children riding on the shoulders strong and wide. She never thought to scold him or even to complain. And Big Bill always loved Nevada Jane. Nevada Jane went riding, her pony took a fall. The doctor said she never could walk again at all. But Bill could lightly lift her The big hands rough and plain Would gently carry home Nevada Jane Well, the storms of Colorado They rained for ten long years The mines of old Montana Were filled with blood and tears California, Arizona yeah, and Utah heard the name Of the man who always loved Nevada Jane now the ranks are scattered like leaves upon the breeze And with them go the memories of harder times than these But some things never change, they always stay the same Just like the way Bill loved Nevada Jane Have you seen the way he holds her as though she was a bride? Children riding on the shoulders strong and wide to scold him or even to complain And Big Bill always loved Nevada Jane Yeah, Big Bill always loved Nevada Jane 